Hey, what's up guys, BoHD here. Now, Apple made a credit card and I went ahead and ordered one. I actually had the Apple Barclay credit card because I bought so many Apple products for review, it just seemed worth it at the time. But I went ahead and closed it coincidentally right before Apple unveiled the Apple card at WWDC. So this is essentially a Apple Barclays credit card replacement. After you enroll online and are approved, it will come shipped to you in this nondescript cardboard envelope with a pull tab to easily open it up and reveal the credit card itself. The card itself is in another more Apple-esque envelope with colors and minimal instructions. It says, to activate your card, open up the wallet app. Your card might prompt you to hold it up to your iPhone so that it'll automatically detect it and prompt you to activate it and set it up. Uh, that will work if you have an iPhone XS, but since I have an iPhone X, I will have to open up the wallet app and press on the plus icon in the corner and choose the Apple card. Setup is pretty straightforward. There's only a few prompts. From there, you'll see some menus you can swipe through below where your balance is. Uh, swipe over once to where it says activate your card and tap on that. Then it will ask you to hold your phone up to the card to activate it. It's really quick and easy. It should register your card super quickly. Uh, and yeah, you'll now be able to start using the card. And in the wallet app, you'll have access to your PIN and your card numbers if you need them, since your card numbers are not printed on the card itself for privacy reasons. Apple made a big deal about this when they first announced this card. What's also neat about Apple Card is the ability to pay the card and keep track of your spending all via the app. And when you spend money on coffee, for example, your digital card in the app will turn different colors. So after a while, you'll see your card turn a lot of different colors and the most prominent color will correspond to the shopping category where you spend the most money on. Also, you get 3% back on everything you buy from Apple, 2% back when using Apple Pay, and 1% back on everything you pay with using this physical card. There's also no annual fees. But that's really the gist of it. That's all there is to it. The card itself, it's constructed of titanium and the Apple logo and your name are laser etched into the titanium, creating this super sleek appearance. The big downside though, is that since it's white, it's going to get dirty easily. Apple recommends you don't keep it in a leather wallet and that you keep it away from denim jeans and magnets as the magnetic strip could be rendered useless. This is pretty comical when you consider most credit or debit cards are expected to be stored in a leather wallet or your pants pocket. With that said, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the Apple Card. What do you like or dislike about it? Is it the privacy features or just the clean look of this card? Let me know in a comment down below. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.